So I have to admit that I don't actually watch Fox News, um, uh, but I see it, excerpts from it on um, the Twitter feed. So I got a little bit curious, like, what is maintaining that thing, and it looks like Disney made some deal to purchase Fox, uh, but it apparently didn't include the news outlet, so the quote-unquote news outlet continues, um, and it's in a physical place, so they're headquartered in New York in a, uh, some portion of the Rockefeller Center, which appears to be managed by a global real estate firm, um, kind of pretentious Canadian firm, Ivanhoe. And so I reached out to them and pointed out, hey, maybe it's not the best idea to be, you know, working at Fox News, given they're a known propagandist for a Republican party masquerading as a news outlet and so they you know kind of smoothly responded that they don't they're a global real estate entity and they don't engage in political debate so and I figured oh well who owns that place and it appears that there's three entities and one of you know Rockefeller Center is going to own its global hideous things, and uh, one of them is Mitsubishi Estate, so, and I looked at their balance sheet, and they've got a shitload of money, so, anyway, so, um, there's no obvious way to communicate with whatever that is, Mitsubishi Estate, there is a person that's positioned at the top of that structure, um, what he exactly does is not um, immediately evident. But, um, so, it would be interesting to, you know, engage with um, those entities and make the argument that um, historically it's not going to work out so well if they continue to enable uh, Propaganda that benefits, uh, I guess it's corporate fascism. I don't know, you know. Uh, so it's, uh, it's basically corporate fascism and some weird nationality stuff like the, the Zionist fascist corporate people that want, um, you know, if they go to this magical place, they'll be rewarded in the afterlife. Um, so, there we go.